All right, we're gonna get into this December TBR, but I also have the kittens with me right now, and they're very cute. So first, here's the Donna girl. So cute. She's like, why are you picking me up? Mom, I didn't sign up for this. But you did, because you're my cat. So that's Donna escaping, and Kieran's being a sweetie over here. And here's Kieran, boy. They're so big now. So the disclaimer of there are kittens in the room. Noises might happen, things might fall. Yeah, but we're gonna get into the December TBR and the plans are ambitious. <laughs> Especially because um, I haven't really talked about it on the channel, but I guess I'll just I'll just say it now. We're, we're moving, we're moving in December. I'm leaving Boston. It's, yeah, yeah, we're moving. I'm moving to Ohio. It's gonna be great, but yeah, we're doing that. And it's the end of the semester for teaching and Christmas and, yeah, and it's my birthday month, but I want to read these things. I've been in a real reading momentum because of my Goodreads project. <laughs> so I have it kind of broken down into like my obligation reads, the Goodreads stuff, and like any other like things that like I'm kind of kind of speaking to me. But basically what gets read gets read and what doesn't doesn't and it's fine. <laughs> it just gets left on the floor. It's not a big deal. Um, and before I feel like I have so much preamble to this video, but it's the end of the year and I like to kind of set up my Patreon for the beginning of the upcoming year. We just did our end of the year survey, which is still open. So if you join to become a new Patreon, you can put in your input there. And for the each quarter, we're going to have a short story collection or anthology, a series that we're reading along, um, like just one book in a series and a standalone book. And so the polls for that are going to be going live when this video goes up. And so if you want input into that, those polls will be open. Uh, the The first book we read in January, which will be clear by the polls, I'm going to have that close in like the middle of December so people have time to get the book. But the other ones I'll keep open through December. So if you become a Patreon and you're fresh and new, you can vote and have a say in what we do in the next three months. It's very fun. Um, I, I love the community and all that money goes to helping me take care of my cats. <laughs> and it's really, truly so helpful, especially because I'm we're going through some life changes right now and they are financially stressful and I know you know this is just a hobby channel and like you're just listening to me talk about books but everything counts I'm always so appreciative it, it takes a lot of weight off my shoulders especially because this has been a year of unexpected vet bills to say the least so that preamble out of the way because we're going to talk about <laughs> the books I have to read because of patreon and book clubs and things like that so first off surviving sky this was our November December kind of buddy read and actually I have my physical copy here it's so pretty guys it's so pretty I really do not think the the image does it justice uh, this is I think a sci fantasy book um and I think it's like eco sci fantasy so we're future and we have a different relationship with the land and communities and I'm just curious about it it's definitely one that I haven't heard a lot from and it was a cover by it was also a depression by and I'm excited that people wanted to read it with me and I have been missing sci-fi like a lot. Um, I almost made this entire TBR sci-fi except I had obligations and other things so I couldn't but the, the urge was strong okay. <laughs> so we will be buddy reading that and if there's enough interest we'll do a live show but I'll for sure do a spoiler vlog for that one. Um, and then I also have like in my carryover section um, every month usually I let them vote on a book for me to read. I didn't this month because I'm still behind on the two that they've previously voted for. I'm feeling like Alan at the Library of Alexandria and I need to catch up. So I have Theft of Swords that I need to read. I started and I didn't finish it so I want to do that. And I have the sequel to The Mimicking of Known Successes which I cannot remember the name of. The Imposition of Unnecessary Obstacles. And I actually feel like both of these are gonna be perfect for December so I'm excited to get to them and I just didn't want to get further behind. <laughs> so these are two that are like kind of holdovers that got put on aggressive pause when I suddenly decided I just wanted to read 20 books or something like that. I don't know. Mental health's been doing the thing. It's just, it's doing stuff. Um, so that's all Patreon related stuff. I have my last in-person book club here at the Brookline Booksmith and we are reading actually a book I'm really excited about. I, I was surprised they voted for it because I felt maybe it would be a little too like, it's not a speculative book, I don't think, but I'd be too genre adjacent. And this is Moon of the Crested Sky, which is, I think, a, I don't know if it's near future or contemporary dystopian book takes place when, like, we're, we're in the north. I think we're on reservation ground, but I'm not positive. And suddenly something happens in society and we're looking at the effects on this area. And it's very unclear what's happened and what's happened is not the point. The point is how people respond. 
and I'm very excited about it. I've seen this book talked about on booktube for years so to get to read it and have my own opinions is incredibly exciting and it like snow, winter, feel seasonal. Oh my god Kieran's in my lap. He's trying to attack string though so because you tried to attack string you get to be on camera again. Oh no he doesn't want it. <laughs> Such a squirmy boy. All right so those are book clubs and Patreon stuff and then I am finishing Realm of the Elderlings. Like I'm gonna read Assassin's Fate. Like what? <laughs> that wasn't on my bingo card for the year. Um, so that's the thing I'm doing. And I, I don't even know how I'll, I'll recover truly based off what everyone else has said reading the end of this r really long journey of a series. I'm both excited and unprepared in equal measures. And for Rogers read along, we are reading Arcanum Unbounded, which I have read before. But if I could screed a reread in of some of the short stories that I haven't read since like 2015, like I haven't read the one with the birds, and I haven't read Silent Hills in a long time. And I think it's been about as long since I've read Emperor's Soul. So like those three I would really like to read if I have time in that collection. But like if I don't, I don't. Like it's whatever. Because um, I do remember them relatively clear enough and like they're, they're pretty short. But that's also on my radar. So other carryovers. <laughs> because, you know, I'm nothing but just chaotic. Like, I'm normally the type of person who doesn't pause books, but I've paused so many books recently. Like, for example, Iron Flame, which I've, I'm enjoying this book. I'm 60% of the way through or something, and I'm enjoying it. I'm having a fun time. I think it's exactly what I wanted it to be. But because I wanted to suddenly try and do this challenge for myself, I didn't have time to read it and all the other books I was reading, so it's just, like, aggressively on pause. And, like... That's fine, but I want to pick it up again. I would like to finish it. <laughs> so that's on the list. And then I'm in the middle of a short story anthology called No One Will Come Back for Us. Um, and this is like a cosmic sci-fi horror short story collection by an author who wrote a novella I really liked. And so far, some of her stories really work for me and some of them don't. So it's going to be a mixed bag, I feel. But it's still really interesting and I love buddy reading it with my friends. So what do I have left though for this whole like Goodreads Choice Award thing? Cause it's like, you're watching this. The, the goal, if I've accomplished it, is by December 7th, I will have a video out where I've read all 20, I, I rank them, discuss the project, and they've been releasing things like kind of the night before. So I'm hoping the results aren't actually the 7th, they're like the 6th really late, and then I can respond to that. Like that's like a tentative idea, right? That's like a goal. Um, and so in order to do that, I need to spend the first week of December reading anything I haven't read yet. <laughs> and I've done fairly good. I have, as of right now, I am on track to have re read my 15th book. <laughs> and I should do that tonight. I'm filming this a couple days um, before the end of November. So what do I have? I have this book, The, the Unmaking of June Farrow by Adrian Young, who is an author who is incredibly popular and I did not know about till this year. So I, on, I'm under a rock somewhere. <laughs> didn't know about this author. Apparently has many well-regarded popular books and I guess this is the one I'm going to read and I have to read this one with my eyeballs because it's so popular. I completely not on my radar and like I put a hold on it but it's like still eight weeks away. I'm not going to spend money on an audiobook so here we are. I also would like to read Witch King by Martha Wells. I do have the audiobook for that. There's one more Greek telling that I haven't read yet and that is Clitem Clitemenstra? I don't, I can't say this word. This is one I'm actually maybe more interested in than the other ones because I feel like I know the least about this part of the myth maybe. I don't know. So that means there's potential for it to maybe break the formula a little because I think the formula of Greek retellings has been exhausting for me. And then I have The Book That Wouldn't Burn by Mark Lawrence and I'm like this close to getting the audiobook from Libby so I would really like that. Um, but if not, I have the Kindle version so I can read that. So those are my last four wasn't there another one I needed? Maybe I've already read the 15th. Yes, I already read the 15th yesterday. I'm reading the 16th right now. I don't know. I don't know how math works anymore. Everyone ignore me. <laughs> but these are the last four that I need to read. Um, and yeah, that it'll be fun. It'll be a great time. And then, you know, if you haven't been keeping count, this is still an absurd number of books, absurd a number of pages. But there are two other things I want to put on the list that I'm like tentatively like feeling and think could like really meet me in my moment. The first one is uh, the T. King Fisher's Jack Loeb Wives short story collection. I just really love her short stories and I could just see myself like, I don't know, the week of Christmas just cuddling up with this and reading a story here and there in between like family things. It's just like, I don't know, it feels cozy and wholesome and like perfect 
for me during the holiday times. And then I would like to, and I know I put this on series to start in 2024, but like, who cares? I, so in preparation for what I thought would be the Goodreads fantasy, I got the free Kindle Unlimited. Um, for some of the fantasy romances that I didn't end up having to read because we have the romanticy section. So cool. But that said, this book, War Child, which has been on many a TBR, is available on Kindle Unlimited. Um, and it's quite tricky for me to get through some of my libraries. So I'm always like, maybe you should read this. And like, I have a lack of sci-fi in my life. So this could help fill that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put that on the TBR as well, because maybe, maybe I'll have time. And I don't know, sometimes you want a meaty book. But there, there's a lot on this list. There are a lot of thick books. Like Assassin's Fate's huge. Theft of Sorft is pretty big because it's two books, right? Like there, there are two books in it. Um, and like I keep telling myself all the Goodreads books for better or worse, I'm done by December 6th. So even though I put four books down, I'm like marathoning, sprinting them. <laughs> it's been a wild couple weeks of me reading, guys. I've never read more consistently or quickly in my life. <laughs> And it is not sustainable, but it is a fun little challenge for right now. So, But yeah, those are my tentative reading plans. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Um, also, we'll be watching a lot of Doctor Who because we're still catching up. So I haven't seen the specials yet, which ugh, kills me, kills me as a Doctor Who fan. But like, they'll be there. They'll be there waiting for me. So I would like that. <laughs> and I'm getting the itch to play Horizon again, which will also consume some of my free time, as will packing up and moving. So hopefully some of these have good audiobooks because... Ooh, I'm moving. Hopefully this is the last time. <laughs> I hate moving. All right, I'm gonna show you guys Donna and then I'm gonna sign off. So Donna girl, Donna baby. Oh, Donna baby. She is such a sweetie. Getting so big. Um, all right, let me know what you're reading, doing. Are you participating in any readathons? I know there's the reindeer readathon, which always looks super fun. Um, and if you just wanna let me know that you're here, leave a candy cane emoji because it is December, which is a time for peppermint. <laughs> And otherwise, like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.